You can probably tell by the state of my makeup and my skin that it is the end of the day. But hello everybody, welcome to our weekly vlog. Today is Tuesday the 14th of March. It is my boyfriend Tom's 23rd birthday. However, he is not here. Uh, I haven't actually seen him today. I think it surprises quite a lot of people when I say, like people that I'm chatting to when I'm here. When I say that I pretty much literally do not see Tom through the week other than to go to sleep and unfortunately even though it is his birthday we have both been at work today but you probably gathered from the last two videos on my channel that we did spend the whole weekend celebrating instead kind of deliberately so welcome to this week's weekly vlog i haven't filmed too much today just because the rest of the week is going to be really exciting and there's going to be some familiar faces in it you guys probably have seen by now that eve and liv are both in melbourne at the moment which is so exciting that's eve bennett and liv rook my friends from home my youtube friends but yeah they are both going to be in this vlog i also have some exciting plans with my other friend liv tomorrow i feel like i need to differentiate there's liv rook and there's liv burks this is liv that i filmed my video with last week this is liv live rook there you go now you're familiar with everybody that's going to be in the vlog um but yeah i thought i would start it now anyway just because i'm about to go to the gym i've been saying i'm going to the gym for the entire afternoon it's 8 30. i've just finished editing for the night to be fair so now I'm going to the gym. I've had the gear on all day, like I am ready. I just need to actually go. <laughs> but first I'm gonna take off my makeup. My skin is really not popping off right now. Not really sure why, like generally, touch wood, my skin is pretty okay. I honestly think sometimes it's like certain things in my diet that bother my skin and this weekend, had a lot of dairy, like a lot of dairy, which is quite unlike me. I don't really eat. Well, I eat a lot of cheese, but I try to avoid like creamy pasta sauce, milk, ice cream, yogurt, anything like that. And this weekend I've just had all of the above and I think that maybe that's why my skin is not too good. They're also in really annoying places. You know when they're like kind of by your mouth or on your cheeks and you just kind of want to like itch them. Like if they're on my forehead, I feel like I don't feel them as much, but here I'm very aware of it. Anyway, I'm gonna take off my makeup and then I'm going to the gym. I'm gonna hold my hand here just because our address is on the cards, but Tom has actually got some cards from home. And despite me getting him his presents to open on the weekend, I did just get him two little bars of dairy milk chocolate. Dairy milk, not dairy milk, Cadbury's. Here's a potentially fun fact for those of you that haven't been in Australia before. They have Cadbury's here. And they have so many different flavours to Cadbury's in the UK. But none of it tastes like Cadbury's from the UK because it's made with different ingredients. So all of their Cadbury's is made here in Tasmania, which is great. Love that. But I think maybe because of the temperature and the heat, it's made with like oil and it just doesn't taste the same. However, these two flavours do look pretty good and I don't think that Tom will have any complaints. I'm not sure if I love this headband or hate this headband. I feel like I look like I'm trying to be one of the Spice Girls, but in actuality, I'm just trying to get the baby hairs out of my face. But I do look a bit like a boiled egg, so maybe I'm not gonna be wearing this. I don't know, so many girls rock this and I'm just like, it's not it. Anyway guys, it is Wednesday. Oh my God, do I look more put together. Oh, I was exhausted. I feel as though I am feeling hump day every time it humps. <laughs> what I mean, <laughs> it didn't this is what I mean. I'm so tired. Like, Wednesday is such an uphill battle, and then it is such a fast downhill sprint across the weekend. Do you know what I mean? Do you know, like, the actual metaphor, the actual thought of it being hump day? Yeah, it is doing that today. That's what I meant. That's what I mean. I have put on some makeup because tonight I'm actually going to Queen Victoria Market's last summer night market. So throughout the summer months here in Oz, Melbourne's Queen Victoria Market has been doing like a food market on a Wednesday night. Um, and it's been quite popular. I've heard of it a lot. My friend Liv has been a few times and raved about it and I have never been. And tonight is like the closing one for the end of summer. So I thought I really wanted to go before, but just haven't got around to it. And seeing as it's the last one, I thought I would meet Liv there, seeing as though she is the expert at it. I'm gonna just go and get some food. It's basically a food market. Usually Queen Vic Market is like, for everything. There's like food stalls, there's clothes stalls, there's tech stalls, there's like touristy bit. But tonight I think it's just food, like loads of different food vans, loads of different food stalls, food from around the world. Um, and I'm starving because I've been up for like 28 million bloody hours. <laughs> no, I'm just really hungry to be fair. So I'm gonna head there, but first I'm gonna get my nails done because look at this. <laughs> Let's go to the nail salon. The 
Biscoff Queen. <laughs> this might be the most insane brownie I've ever seen in my life. That is, that's something else. That's a that's a potential thumbnail for the vlog just in yeah. itself. I've had this about ten times, and like it just honestly never, just never. Like <laughs> right, guys, I didn't film this when we came in because it was manic busy, and it's a lot later now. It's like ten p.m. We are just leaving. We actually bumped into some of Liv's other friends who I've also met before, just by chance. Like we were literally. I don't know how we found them when it was actually so busy. Like honestly, guys, when I tell you it was busy, I've never been to a market as crazy busy as this but i do think it's because it's the last one yeah like this is the end of the queen victoria summer night market yeah because it's been going on really since like christmas time and yeah. like this is the last one so i think everyone is just coming tonight also this lighting is not really the one no. but yeah so anyway it was really busy but on this side of us all of this was food stalls the queues were like all the way up to here every single stall is different though so it's really really cool it's like different countries and then this side is still quite like a bit of a traditional market so you've got clothes dolls or whatever they are jewelry all of this kind of stuff that i think is usually here to be fair like this is sort of what queen victoria market looks like if you were to come on a weekend but it has been really nice yeah, we've had nice we've had a like, lot of food it's a bit of like a throwback to when we were in asia because this is quite a common thing that goes to a little night yeah i actually feel like a lot of evenings i'd go somewhere like this for dinner just sit outside and this is kind of like the first time i've really felt like that probably since then so yeah it's been very nice i am quite full though guys like we had the best brown but loaded biscoff with ice cream like white chocolate, chocolate sauce biscoff crumbs yeah. honestly i feel a bit sick like i may have overeaten however i'm not mad at it because it was very nice like i was literally eating it and i was like i am full but i'm gonna carry on eating this because yeah. it's so good it like, is in front of me i just can't stop like i have to keep going until it's but also it was just so nice like oh and we had chips before that i think i filmed those as well they were amazing basically all the good food all the good drinks and i feel like we've put the world to right yeah every time <laughs> no but tonight i feel like Liv was making big life decisions tonight and yeah. we were like right we're gonna it's we're gonna happening. leave feeling optimistic yeah. feeling positive and um now i'm gonna head back it's later than i thought it was gonna be yeah this happens a lot it's this happens today. all the time yeah. we go out we're like oh we'll just go for dinner and then it's 10 pm so that's good i think that's kind of my no honestly it's, honestly it's so nice though and i would have only been that myself yeah so guys look at the melbourne city skyline from this angle this is the queen victoria market car park and i actually think it's one of the best views of like the cityscape and the actual skyscrapers this is ridiculous sometimes i forget how much of a built-up city melbourne actually is i think this might be probably the most built-up city in australia i don't know like are you actually kidding me look at that look at that anyway i'm walking back I try to avoid walking back on my own in the dark but it's way quicker than getting the trams and it's fine it is beautiful like i'm actually shook at this cityscape those lights are kind of ruining it but wow how to attract attention on a busy road is to stand and take a selfie but oh well done it now hello i can't remember the last thing i vlogged but i think it was last night the markets were carnage guys like it was so busy but so so good like i honestly i enjoyed the food so much i would say i really recommend going but that was the last one but keep an eye out for next summer if you're in melbourne anyway now it is thursday and my friend liv rook has just arrived in melbourne today she actually got here this morning whilst i was at work so i just got back from a six hour shift and i am about to head out to meet her and i'm going to show her around some of the city not loads i think maybe just the botanical gardens and the south bank um, and like federation square just because they're all quite near each other um and they're like in the cbd they're my personal favorite bits they're my like wow this is melbourne bit so i thought we could go there maybe get some food or maybe come back here and get food i'm not sure what Liv wants to do we do actually have plans like tomorrow night saturday night potentially monday night as well so we've got plenty of time to explore more of the city and go more places for dinner but i obviously have no dinner plans tom is at work so we shall just see where the evening takes us i'm so excited to see her the last time i saw her was boxing day if you didn't know uh, we actually spent Christmas with Liv in Byron Bay. Um, so we did Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and Boxing Day all together at Wake Up Hostel in Byron Bay. And it was just such a lovely time. Like it was so fun. Such cool memories from our like East Coast trip as well. Like Christmas Day was just felt a bit like a fever dream. Like felt weird being here. And that was the last time I saw Liv. So yeah, about to head out and meet her. She's actually staying really near our flat. So it won't take me long. 
We <laughs> are at the Shrine of Remembrance. This is where I bring everybody. Basically, I'm with Liv. Here she is. Hello. Um, she looks so tanned. I think also your blonde hair is really popping off. Yeah, that's some bleach. Yeah, it looks really nice. I sort of dyed mine back, but the dyes come out now. So I'm really... And as it's getting longer, it's getting easier. Surfer girl vibes. Never seen you with hair this long in my entire seven, know, six, I seven years. Yeah, of knowing Liv, she's always had like a bob, you know? Always. And now I'm like, oh my gosh, your hair's so long. But yeah, basically, if you ever come to Melbourne and I'm playing tour guide, one of the first places I'll bring you is here just because of the view of the city. But I've shown it in the vlog so many times, you don't really need to see it. But imagine the same skyscrapers I was showing you last night when I was at the market. She takes all her dates here, I don't feel very special. No. <laughs> hey, the only other person I've done this with is Eve, so. Well, I'm Tom's friend actually, oh, but yeah. you know what, it's fun. It's just, it's one of the nicer parts of Melbourne, I think, to see the city as well, because you're also surrounded by like the botanical gardens. So if you're ever here and you don't have very long, you should add this to your list of things to see. But we are heading to get food now because it's 6 p.m. and we're both pretty hungry. There's a couple of really nice places on the South Bank as well, guys. This is another top tip. If you're looking for like a nice place to have dinner and like see Melbourne in an evening. I feel like the South Bank is one of the best places. So we're heading there and I'm very hungry, so I'm very excited. Guys, we have come for Grilled. Grilled is one of my favorite like fast food takeaway places in all of Australia. It kind of reminds me of like Nando's if Nando's was burgers. It's like the same sort of vibe. Oh, and here is Liv. Good morning guys. It is so bright and early. It's like 25 past 7. I need to leave in approximately 10 minutes and I'm just starting my breakfast so that tells you about my work morning routine. Um, but it is Friday morning, thank God. Um, I look so rough. I am going to put a bit of makeup on in my next 10 minutes of eating this, talking to you. Don't really have the time. Last night was lovely to see Liv. We had such a nice dinner. Obviously I showed you, we went to grill and then we got an ice cream. Literally came back, went to bed um, and then Tom came in. So it's been a pretty hectic week. I did actually see Tom for a bit longer yesterday though because I finished work a little bit earlier. So that was nice. And now it is Friday. And it's Friday the 17th, actually St. Patrick's Day. So happy St. Patrick's Day to uh, any of you guys that might be Irish. I'm actually going out this evening with Liv and Eve and my other friend Liv and Tom might join us as well after work to celebrate. I don't really know what the plan is doing because I think it's going to be carnage. Like we're going to go to an Irish pub but I think it's going to be so busy. So we shall just see but I thought I would just say hello, good morning because I didn't end yesterday's section of the vlog but it was so lovely to see Liv. We had such a nice time. Such a good catch up about her east coast trip. She is so tanned right now and like blonde and like you know when you've just come off the east coast and you're like ah, oh, I was vibing. I feel like I, I saw her and I was like, oh my god, I've lost my tan and like my whole travel vibe is not it right now. So it made me very excited to travel again. Anyway, I need to eat this, so I'm gonna go. Hi guys, I am just jumping in here dressed in my new bikini, which I'm actually a bit obsessed with because last week I mentioned in the vlog that I was working with White Fox on some content and they have really kindly given me a discount code to use for you guys on YouTube as well. And I think that this is too good of an opportunity to not share it because who doesn't love a discount code? Like, hello, White Fox stuff is stunning and if you can get money off it, a win. So this isn't an ad, but I do just wanna share this with you. So I'm gonna read it out so that I don't get the code wrong. But basically, if you use the code Molly WFYT, as in like White Fox YouTube, um, so it's on screen. You will get 15% off site wide, and they also have a sale on at the moment as well. So that is pretty helpful. Like that is a pretty good discount code. I'm going to show you some of the pieces though. Obviously, personal favourite is this bikini shirt combo, which is actually what I am wearing today because I'm going to the beach. So yeah, this is from White Fox. I love the bikini. It's like all the colours, yellow, pink, um, and then this shirt's just a little bit different. I've always had white beach shirts, but the thing with a white beach shirt is that they just stain and get dirty very easily. So this is my new one, this is also from White Fox, and then I will insert some overlays of some of the other items that I have got from them recently. The number one probably being this loungewear set, it is just stunning guys like I have literally been living in this hoodie you will have noticed it if you watched last week's vlog or if you watched the vlogs during the week from Tom's birthday obsessed also obsessed with this blue top this t-shirt is so lovely it's the classic white fox t-shirt and then probably my favorite outfit is actually the one I wore on Tom's like birthday night out so this one here I did a little outfit chat through in that vlog but I didn't say where it was from just because the other content hasn't gone up yet so 
I was just like, oh, this is my outfit. But now you can actually shop this exact outfit and get 15% off it. And guys, the corset is so, so stunning. Um, I will link all of the items that I've got from them down below with my sizes as well. So I'm usually somewhere between a UK 8 and 10 and all of my items that I ordered off White Fox fit perfectly. So I'll link all of them with the sizes in the description box. But yeah, basically pretty obsessed. The jeans, the bikini, the shirt, the corset, the t-shirt, the loungewear. Guys, this little brown play suit. I'm sorry, how cute is this? I'm waiting for the perfect opportunity to wear this. And I do have an event in mind that's coming up pretty soon. So yeah, I'm just obsessed. Thank you so much, White Fox, for giving me the discount code to offer for you guys. I really, really appreciate that because I know that you guys watching love a discount code. Literally, who doesn't? Why would you want to shop full price when you don't have to? But yeah, I thought I would just include that in this vlog here because I have quite literally been living in all of these bits of clothing and you've probably seen them all already by now so yeah just if you were interested they will all be linked down below shirt this bikini etc etc so do check it out and don't forget to use the code at the checkout to get some money off but yeah thank you so much white folks we're gonna continue with the vlog yeah i'm sure you're gonna see me in this bikini quite often it's finally Friday afternoon oh my god guys i'm about to pop down in the lift to let live in live rook Gotta clarify. I don't really know where tonight is heading. It is St. Patrick's Day. I have finished work for the week. Right now, Liv is literally downstairs, so I really have to go. Uh, but I'm so bloody grateful that it is the weekend. <laughs> We are at St Kilda Beach. It is 6 p.m. So it's a little bit early for the sunset, but it's actually just really nice sitting here in the sunshine. It's the first time all week it's been like kind of warm to be fair. Liv is with me. Here she is. She remembered her sunglasses. I did not. So I'm sat here like I actually can't see the screen, but um, <laughs> we've just been enjoying watching the dogs to be fair. There's some like, they're not wind surfers, are they? What are they? Sail sail the sailors. That sailors on the water and there's also so many people with cute dogs also in the water and i just love watching dogs have like a good time on the beach i think i actually might be really sad but you know it's okay i'm wander into st kilda now get some food find somewhere to maybe have a drink we passed an irish pub on the way but it was packed wasn't it, like it? it looked like absolute carnage the queue was literally around the block and i was thinking maybe not <laughs> so we're gonna walk into the town see what else is going on see if there's anywhere a bit more low-key that's celebrating st patrick's day but if not we shall just see what's going on in st kilda i've actually never been here for like dinner in an evening i've only ever really been to the beach like during the day or in the morning so i interested to see what it's like, but we're gonna head in that direction. I'm really thriving just watching that talk. This lady is taking her dog out on a canoe. Stop it, I just know my mum is watching this. Being like, oh my God. I don't know if you can really see it because of the, the sunlight, but I don't know how she's gonna get into it. If she gets in without tipping that dog up, I am gonna be shook. No, surely not, she has, she's done that before. She's done that before. Guys, this is my dream life. I just want to be that lady with my dog in my canoe on a Friday night just vibing on the ocean. It's making me very happy. I'm sorry. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting this in the vlog so that you guys have nightmares too because who thought that this was a good exterior for a children's fun fair? Like, Liv earlier made a point of being like, why is everything that was made of the Victorian era really creepy? And that's so true because this looks like one of these dolls that's probably, his eyes are gonna follow you around the room. Do you know what I mean? I'm not sure why his eyes light up like that. I'm not thriving, I'm walking away from it. But this is Luna Park, guys. If you ever wanted to sit in the dark, now you don't have to do this for yourself. Look who it is! She's back and it's a slightly different skin colour than when You are tan. You are tan. I know. <laughs> Honestly, you're both so tan. The pair of them just come from like Queensland and the East Coast. We need to go. We need to go get a tan. Honestly. Oh, Tom is here also, by the way. Back from work. Lives here. Lives here. Eve's literally fresh off the plane from Kev. I literally dropped the bags and they were like, where are you? And they were like, oh, we're at the vineyard. And I was like, that's so weird because it's the first bar that I came to fresh off the plane. Literally the first time. Six weeks ago. Yeah. But yeah, we're all reunited and it's very exciting. I am gonna end this vlog here. You might recognize this outfit. It is now Saturday. That was a little jump ahead. Um, but I'm gonna end this vlog. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed very
very briefly seeing Eve and Liv. Eve actually only arrived at like 10.30 last night. She got here from Cairns. Um, so we really weren't out for that long. We, we probably sat and caught up for about an hour and then we were all so tired that we did head back and go to bed. But we are actually going to the beach today, but I'm not gonna film today, I don't think. I'm just gonna enjoy hanging out with them, but you will see them again in the vlog next week. They are staying across like two weeks, like across the weekend, if that makes sense. So you will see them again next week. Um, but today I'm just gonna enjoy being with them, head to the beach. Tom is at work, so it's gonna be a little girly day. My friend Liv, or the Liv, is also coming. Um, and she met them last night and everybody gets on really well. So it was just a really nice dynamic. So I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below so that you don't miss out on my content that is to come because there is some exciting things planned in the next few weeks. Ah! But other than that, I am gonna go and I shall see you in my next video, which will be up on Tuesday. Bye.